Good afternoon, guys. So, the most common complaint for which anyone visits our office or any gynecologist offices is primarily irregular uterine bleeding. Now, what is irregular uterine bleeding? A normal period is ideally within 21 days to maximum 35 days. Any period which is under 21 days or more than 35 days is called as irregular uterine bleeding. So, there's a bleed, there's a name for this. It's called metrorrhagia. So, acyclic bleeding, irregular bleeding or whatever you want to call it. So, the most common causes are divided into two categories. One is the purely hormonal cause. The hormonal cause is primarily PCOD along with thyroid disorders. Thyroid gland hyperfunctioning or hypofunctioning. The other hormone is prolactin. Along with prolactin, we also have a hormone called as serum testosterone, the male sex hormone. So, PCOD, prolactin, and the thyroid hormone and testosterone. These can cause hormone imbalances. Now, there are other conditions like suppose a woman has taken any emergency contraceptive like the morning after pill to avoid getting pregnant because of rupture of the condom or non usage of the condom. Anyone having an intrauterine IUCD, a copper tea device, even that can cause irregular bleeding and spotting. Anyone who's been irregular on the regular pills, the 21 day OC pills, contraceptive pills, even those can cause uh, any form of, uh, you know, irregular spotting, irregular bleeding. Now, ideally speaking, if these pills are taken regularly, this shouldn't happen. It happens in case of a missed pill or any pill being taken in the wrong interval. That's one thing. The other causes are, various causes are the intrauterine causes. Now, the uterus, if you look inside this uterus, you can see a polypoidal mass. So, intrauterine polyps. Something called as an intrauterine or a submucosal fibroid are the various causes for irregular bleeding. Now, the most important thing I have to mention is any woman coming with irregular bleeding during her reproductive age group, you have to have to do a pregnancy test. A urine pregnancy test is something you must clear out because urine pregnancy test will eliminate that fear of pregnancy and sometimes Pregnancy induced bleeding can appear as irregular bleeding. This is a very important thing. Once pregnancy is out of the way, you can do a basic gynec checkup, an ultrasound, sonography of the pelvis, along with some hormones tests if your gynec prescribes them to you. Otherwise, you don't have to worry. These are purely hormonal conditions. If there's no abnormality seen in the uterine sonography, and they just require hormonal treatment and some lifestyle modification. If you like the video, hit the like button. Please share with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and good night.